Welcome back guys, so in this video I will be showing you how to set up GeForce Now Cloud Game Streaming Service on your Steam Deck for both supported and unsupported countries. As of now, this service is not available in my country that is India. So I will use the free version of Proton VPN in order to access the Japan based server of GeForce Now. I observed that among all of the free servers available, I got the lowest ping using the Japan based server of GeForce Now from India. Using Proton VPN, you can also access the US and Netherlands based servers of GeForce Now. Entirely up to you. I personally recommend using the Japan based server from India. Usually, I get a ping of around 140 milliseconds. I have Airtel's Extreme Broadband Fiber Connection. I have subscribed to their 200 megabits per second plan connected to a 5 GHz band Wi Fi channel. I have already shown you how to set up Proton VPN on Steam OS. Link to the video will be given in the description of this video. From Steam's gaming mode, I'll be enabling the VPN using Tunnel Deck plugin. You can install this plugin from Techie Loader. Again, I've already shown you the entire procedure. Having GeForce Now on your Steam Deck can be very useful. First of all, you don't need to worry about storage. Games are pre-installed on NVIDIA server. You just need to own them in order to play them using the service. So let me just show you the guide that I'm going to follow. This is a post available on reddit made by this user. They have provided the instructions on how to set up GeForce Now. I followed them and it worked very nicely on my Steam Deck. So we will be using the web based version of GeForce Now. You can either use Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome browser entirely up to you. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using Google Chrome. We need to download it from Discover Store. Just search for Chrome here. Install the Flatpak. I have connected my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. Alright, installation complete. Don't need to open it from here. Close the Discover Store. Click on Application Launcher. Click on Internet. There's Google Chrome. Just right click on it. Click on Add to Steam. From the desktop mode, open Steam. Go to library, just search for chrome, it should be added to your game list. There it is Google Chrome. So we need to make a few changes to the Google Chrome app that we added to our steam list. Change its name from chrome to geforce now. Need to add this line of text as a launch option. Append it after this line of text. After appending the line, this should be the complete line of text. One thing you can do is copy the entire text like this, right click, copy. I'll be providing this line of text in the description of this video, don't worry. So go back to Steam, select Google Chrome, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, change its name from here. I'll be using the boiler application in order to import the artwork for GeForce now. So this is the launch option. Select the complete line of text, control plus A, backspace and paste the text that we copied from the reddit post, paste, there you go. So we are ready to use the service, close it. We just need to run a console command first, go back to the instructions page. Copy this line of text starting with F. Click on application launcher. Go to system, open console. Paste the line of text here. Enter. That's it. Type exit. Hit enter. So now I'll be importing the artwork. You can see it's completely blank. Looks ugly. So let me just open the boiler application. I've already shown you the setup for boiler. Very useful application. It's a must have application if you often add non steam games to your steam library. Just click here. 
artwork will be imported automatically i don't have to do anything done importing close it so let's start steam in gaming mode there is a geforce now application ready with the artwork so let me just show you the controller layout just tap on the controller icon here i am using this layout gamepad with mouse trackpad made a few changes view layout you can see i have assigned the l4 grip button to escape key very easy to do it you just tap on edit layout scroll down grip buttons l4 tap here go to keyboard select escape and for the right trackpad just tap on the trackpad here tap on this slot corresponding to right trackpad behavior and select as mouse i'll be able to move the pointer using the right trackpad for right trackpad click tap here and select left mouse go to mouse section and select left mouse click so i'll be able to simulate the left mouse button click by pressing the right trackpad that's it if the service is available in your country you can directly run the application from here and log into your account but as the service is not available in my country i'll just enable proton vpn let me just show you how to do this just press the steam menu button it's the button with these three white dots i'll be using tunnel deck plugin there's techy loader there's tunnel deck connect to japan based vpn wait for the symbol to change there you go globe icon meaning a vpn is enabled it started now we just need to log into our account so just go to login here press the right trackpad there's sort bank I already have a sort bank account just need to enter my credentials here enter your user id here and password in this slot there you go i have logged into my account let me just show you the stream settings just click on the hamburger icon here go to settings i have already connected my ubisoft epic games and steam accounts to my geforce now account you can select the server location from here i'll stick with auto japan based servers streaming quality set to balanced balanced takes full advantage of available bandwidth to deliver the best possible image quality and gameplay steam deck's display has a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels you can also select a custom quality setting you can change these parameters maximum bitrate resolution frame rate I'll just search for God of War. Tap here. Open the virtual keyboard by pressing and holding the Steam button and pressing the X key. There's God of War. Need to own the game in order to play it using this service. And just tap on Play here. I'll disconnect from the VPN when the game starts. This is the free version, and you can see. 50 people are ahead of me it will take a few minutes for the game to start need to have the paid membership in order to remove these waiting queues nvidia does not have any performance overlay for the web based version of geforce now now guys god of war 2018 has been removed from geforce now it is only available for those geforce now users who played the game before its removal okay give them the permissions now let's stream has started I have enabled the performance overlay, level two. So now I'm going to disconnect from the VPN. This will help in reducing the latency. Wait for the connection to re-establish. Yeah, that worked. Takes a few seconds, so let me just show you the. game settings these are the graphic setting custom preset ultra to high display settings resolution got locked to steam deck resolution 800p 
let's start the game all right there's creators check out the input response using that japan based server from india i can use one more setting go to performance tab enable allow tearing and set the frame rate limit to off this will basically disable the vsync reduce latency i'll play this way controls do seem to be more responsive now it's up to you come it was nice meeting you bro i'll be thinking of a name for your beast Come over here. I like it. Need to cross the web. You left me to fight alone. I did. People are one thing. Everything else you fight until I say stop or we are dead. I'll be on the X. Pull your weight over. I understand. Good then. I lock it in its place. There you go. Wait there. Come back then. very stable performance as good as native Last one. I'll activate the rage mode. Smash it. Made it. So excellent performance. The FPS mostly stayed around 60. Game is really running very smoothly. Steam Deck can't run this game at 60 FPS. Wow. Natively. Never been this close to the mountain before. So guys, I'll end the video here. Looks so big. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Wish Mom was here to see it.